Hey, welcome back to the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge, and uh, yeah, we're back with Mater again, two days in a row. This time, he's Heavy Metal Mater. This is a short, it's five minutes long, it's from 2010. Uh, yeah, there's a number of these they make throughout the years, I guess, between uh, all the Cars movies. Uh, once again, Mater's remembering a moment in his life. He's lived a rich and varied existence. Uh, <laughs> he was in a rock band. He, he was a musician, and uh, he had a song that was basically just the lyrics, Dad Gum, Dad Gum, Dad Gum, and uh, started out as a little rock and roll band in a garage, a garage band, of course. And I, I, I realize I shouldn't tell you everything about this, but you can pretty much figure out what this is all about. It's not that complicated, but it's a matter of seeing what they do with it. Uh, it's, it's a send-up, obviously, of all of rock and roll and the music business and everything else, done in five minutes and with cars so of course it's a moment that uh, lightning mcqueen is like that's that didn't happen uh but it's, of course uh Vader goes well you were there and <laughs> of course then you see lightning mcqueen joining in with the band they go from little rock and roll band to big heavy metal act on the level of kiss iron maiden uh, it just yeah it's it's hilarious to see how it actually works out. Yes, I'm telling you that there's a, a Mater, a hilarious heavy metal, a hilarious Mater cartoon. And these are funny. I know, like I said yesterday, there's people who really don't like Larry. I'm not like his biggest fan myself, but the idea is that this character Mater is actually as obnoxious as he can be, and he gets in the way, and he's, you know... And maybe he, it was not a good idea to focus the Cars 2 movie on him. I don't know. Uh, but he makes uh, for a good lead character in small doses. So, And it, again, it's I love the, just the fact that they send up, they all the, send up the music business. And there's all these little tiny Easter eggs for those of you who have experienced, who've lived through the music um, industry. There's lots of little puns and little Easter eggs thrown throughout that you will uh, definitely appreciate. So it's not exactly Spinal Tap, but it's still, um, yeah, it's still a good, good little bit. By the way, it says that George Carlin provides uh, one of the additional voices. I'm pretty sure he was dead at this point, but it's in there somewhere, I guess. Uh, again, Keith Ferguson does the voice for Lightning McQueen, not Owen Wilson. What are you going to do with their shorts? Can you afford Owen Wilson to record literally four, two, like two minutes of dialogue for like four lines? Come on. I don't know. Anyway, let's pick tomorrow's episode. 94. 94. 94. Come on. What do we got? 94. Ooh. Okay, it's not a major short. I think I would have probably questioned reality as a whole if we would have gotten another major short three in a row. But we are going back. <laughs> so that's where it all started, but really dang early. This is, this is one of the classics, one of the Disney classics. We're going to watch the 1950 Cinderella. Uh, yeah, I. It's those kind of the movies that I, I don't know if I've seen. I know I've seen it. I've seen scenes from it. I've seen all elements. I know what it's all about. But it's the kind of thing that if I saw it as a kid, did I really see it? If I can't recall the experience, I don't know. We'll figure it out tomorrow because I'm going to watch it again or watch it for the first time with a conscious mind, not a child's mind. Anyway, Cinderella 1950 on the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge. I'll see you back here tomorrow.